The UNH men's ice hockey team officially begins its season Friday, October 8th on the road against Miami of Ohio. Prior to the start of the season, Coach Dick Umili and seniors Mike Sislo and Matt Campanelli traveled to Legends Restaurant inside TD Garden in Boston for Hockey East Media Day, giving reporters a first-hand look at the upcoming season. The preseason coaches poll announced at the event placed the Wildcats third in the conference behind rivals Boston College and the University of Maine. The following day, the team gathered in Durham at Whittemore Center Arena for UNH Hockey Media Day. Coach Umili was joined by junior goaltender Matt DiGeralamo and senior Phil DeSimone to discuss the upcoming season with local members of the media. It's, um, it's always exciting when we have media day here because uh, we know the, the start of the season is right around the corner and you know, we've got an exhibition game and as I was just uh, mentioning a few minutes ago, we really haven't had uh, too many practices. Uh, the exhibition game is an opportunity to play a game, find out some things uh, about uh, New, new faces and new roles and uh, kind of a dress rehearsal uh, before we open up out at Miami the following week. And we're going to start off with the first line and we're just going to take uh, Mike Sislo and put him on the right side where Bobby Butler was with De Simone and Thompson. I mean, that was a pretty good line last season and you know, Michael's played there before with Phil uh, in his sophomore year. So we'll... Uh, That'll be the top line, and then we'll we'll probably play around with some of the other lines. He just uh, you know he brings it every day, and you know he's got great character as a person. He does it on the ice, off the ice, uh, and that includes the classroom and the weight room. He's uh, he's a kid that's a, a natural leader, and he does it by example. He's our, he's our number one goalie. You know I said that yesterday in the meetings in Boston. Uh, you know Matt's a, a starting goalie, and we've got a couple other goalies that will practice and compete every day. But Matt is our uh, number one goalie going into the season. I played against him in juniors and he was outstanding there when he was the starter and he was in his you know groove and stuff like that and he was he was really good in junior so I mean the transition you know I, I don't think will be that hard for him and I think he's definitely ready and prepared himself this summer and stuff like that and over the last few years to kind of take over the role after Foster graduated so I think you know everyone's ready to to play for him just like we did last year for Foster and we're excited to see him you know see his time now. I mean, obviously I feel some pressure but I mean we have such a good team such such a great captain um, that they really take the pressure a lot off of me and our D we have a lot of veteran D's coming back so that helps a lot too. It's a good nucleus and, and at defense we have you know five of us starting six defensemen returning um, I think, which is which is a you know, I won't say it's a strength, but it's um, uh, you know, there's a lot of experience there coming back. Uh, and, and when I say it's not our strength, I'm just saying that uh, it, it should be a, a strength of ours uh, having five experienced defensemen back there. I think this year the big difference is our defensemen core as a unit is you know older and more experienced, and you know we have some good D that got some playing time last year that are going to come back and get better. We have some D that, you know, played a little bit that are going to be better this year. And then we have the D that played a lot last year that are just have another year of experience under their belt. I think our senior class is a good group in general. Matt uh, Campanelli is the assistant. Uh, but, you know, Thompson and uh, De Simone are, are, are big leaders uh, the way they play. So even though they're not wearing a C or an A, they're, they're leaders here that uh, the guys look up to. Yeah, I think as a senior uh, on this team, Emilio really gives the senior class that leadership role in, in the sense that he expects, you know, the upperclassmen to really kind of take control of the team in the locker room. And you know, with guys, you know, he's he really can't do it all, and I don't think he wants to be wants to do it all because it's obviously, you know, the, the upperclassmen has a big role in the leadership of the team as well. So. The Cats' first home game is scheduled for Saturday, October 16th at 7 p.m. when they take on CCHA Power Michigan.